friend, Dr. Stephen Abakamuni. It's so nice to see those beautiful faces. I've been asked to read from Quran, and I will do three verses from three different chapters that I choose according to this program in honoring uh, the memory of Dr. Martin Luther King. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Praise be to Allah, the Lord, cherisher and sustainer of the worlds. The all merciful, the ever merciful. The possessor of the day of judgment, you only be worshipped and only you help we see. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those on whom you have bestowed your mercy, not of those against whom you have sent your wrath, nor of those who have erred and become lost. This chapter we call chapter of Fatha, the opening chapter of the Quran, number one. And another chapter is number 49, al Hujurat, the inner apartments of the Prophet. And the verse 13. O mankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female, and made you into nations and tribes, that you may know one another, not that you may hate each other. Surely, the most honorable of you in the sight of Allah is the is he who is the most righteous of you. Verily Allah is unknowing and is well aware of all things. And the third chapter, as I said, we call it chapter of Asr, the time through the ages. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. By the promise of time, infinity, surely man is in loss, except such as those who have faith and do righteous deeds, and join together in the mutual teaching of truth and of patience and perseverance. Amen. Amen. Rabbi, if you give me a minute, can I just say a few words? Uh, regarding violences, we just heard, and worldwide is talking about violences. They've been since Adam, his young from him, his sons, they made violence at first, but they didn't know better. Now time, we have a wonderful guide, all the books of God, all great educators, great academics in various faiths and traditions. And really, from the bottom of my heart, I ask you to stand up shoulder to shoulder and work together, otherwise there will no be peace. Peace is up to us, up to human. If you see animals in the world anywhere, they don't fight. But the human who have already book or books, do we really follow? Thank you. May God bless you all.